So for um, number 16, we're trying to um, express this pattern as a general formula, right? And so we have that a1 is equal to 5, a2 is equal to 8, a3 is 11, a4 is 14, a5 is 17, and so on. And let's think about what happens to this pattern. Well, in this pattern here, we're just adding plus 3 in between them, right? So 5 plus 3 gives us 8, and then plus 3 gives us 11, plus 3 gives us 14, plus 3 gives us 17, and so on. Um, and so between each number, we're adding plus 3. And remember that adding is just when we're repeatedly adding, we're actually multiplying, right? Um, think of adding 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. This gives us 15, and it's the same thing because we added 3 5 times, right? So this is the same thing as going 3 times 5 is equal to 15. So whenever we're, we're repeatedly adding 3, it's actually we're just multiplying. We're going 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, and so on. Um, and so this definitely does have a multiplication by 3 because we're repeatedly adding. However, um, we only begin to add on the second term, right? So instead of going 3n, because in the first term we don't add 3, we just begin with 5. Um, we do have to, to change this index to begin at 3n minus 1 because we only begin to add 3 at a2, right? So if I go a2, that is going to give me 3 times 2 minus 1, which is 3. Um, and so I begin adding 3 at the second index. So this is why I have n minus 1. However, it's not just 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 and so on, right? All of these begin at 5. So I go 5 plus that constant addition of 3 beginning at the index 2. Um, and so let's see if this checks out. Um, so 5 plus 3, if I go... Let's see, a n is equal to 5 times plus 3 n minus 1. So let's see if this checks out, right? The whole thing here is that we said it begins at 5, and then it adds 3 every time, but then it adds 3 beginning at n is equal to 2, and not n is equal to 1. So let's see if this checks out. Uh, so for a 1, we're going to have 5 plus 3 times uh, 1 minus 1. So 5 plus 3 times 0 is equal to 5. Hey, that checks out. What about a2? 5 plus 3 times 2 minus 1. So that gives us 5 plus um, 5 plus 3, right? So that gives us 8. Hey, checks out. What about a3? 5 plus, uh, plus 3 times 3 minus 1. So we're going to have 5 plus 3 times 2. So 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. Hey, works. What about a4? 5 plus 3 times um, 4 minus 1. So 3 times 3 is equal to 9, plus 5 is equal to 14, and that checks out. And so we can see that we did find the right formula, right? And so the whole thing here is that we're seeing, hey, there's a constant addition of 3, um, which begins at 2, and so we're multiplying by 3, but also we're beginning with 5, because we don't start at 0, we begin at 5.